going to take you on a small tour of the router I just built. Um, it's coming together. I'm almost ready for first cuts. I got the motors tuned. Um, lots to do still, but uh, I figured I'd make a video and show the complete system. Um, start with the base. The base is a, a brute machine base um, with a Blanchard ground top uh, within a, a cup within about two thousandths per foot I think the spec is or maybe it's thousands per foot and then two thousandths overall so it gives a nice uh, flat surface to to mount the rails to of course this is a, a fixed gantry machine you see the uprights steel uprights um, bought actually at Misumi um, and then a rectangular uh, tubing A500 structural tubing for the gantry itself. Um, that's machined, the uprights are machined flat and parallel surfaces to each other as purchased. And then the the, uh, the gantry is machined with the upright interface and then perpendicular to that, the rail interface. It's painted, but that entire surface on the gantry is machined flat. You can see the, the machining on the the end supports there, but it follows along the rails and everything. Um, so that's a pretty sturdy structure. It's 3 8 thick wall. Didn't have to take much off on the skim to make the the, the flat surfaces. Uh, I've got some indicators set up right now just to, to make sure I, I go to the home position um, and don't miss steps and some of the warm-up routines I'm running. Uh, the motors are NEMA 23 motors, you can just about see one inside of there. That's for the, uh, the gantry X. The, the Y is underneath the table, Let's see if we can see a shot of that, it's a little tough to see. There she is. They're all set up with uh, pulleys, uh, the belt, a bit of a ratio difference. Um, and then of course there's the Z, also got a, a pulley set up. Um, let's see, the linear rails are all THK, the ones on the, uh, the table or the Y axis are uh, THK HSR, gosh I think they're 30, and then the 25's are on the gantry, the X axis, and then 20's on the Z, got a little bit extra sticking out on the top there. So all THK HSR rails. The uh, the ball screws are NSK ball screws, 14 millimeter diameter, four millimeter pitch for the uh, for the X and Y axis. The Z axis I use a lead screw. See it down there. It's a 12 millimeter, two millimeter pitch. 170 uh, maximum inches per minute per XY axis. Uh, I'm still going to be able to cut aluminum at whatever speed I want, really. There's not, I mean, with the two foot end mill, it doesn't ask for anything above 170 for the work that I'll be doing, so this will be fine for now. But if doing wood and um, plastics, maybe, I'll definitely want to increase the inches per minute, so therefore we'll go to a different style motor. Uh, the spindle is from uh, Damon CNC on the web, and this is a Techno Motor Electro Spindle. Um, it's a 2 kilowatt and uh, 24,000 RPM. Um, goes down to 18,000 RPM. It's the rating, and uh, it was the price point was right in between the Chinese spindles and a nice uh, industrial. Spindle from uh, I forget the company's name. There's a couple of them. But it's made in Italy, and uh, so it's I think a step above the Chinese spindle. And the price point was not too bad. Um, I was happy with this unit, and it came shipped very well from Europe. Um, the euro is is pretty close to the dollar right now. Yeah, I'm just checking that the I don't move, lose any steps through a, a warm up routine. Make sure we're at zero everywhere. A little tough to see on this. Should get a better video.
video camera, I guess. So that's that. That's pretty much the whole thing. Um, I can start cutting something, I guess.